MidiFlow Keyboard is an on-screen keyboard app that allows you to control other synth apps in the audio bus system. And the nice thing about it is that you can play with multiple synth apps at the same time. It shows two keyboards in a split screen and each of the keyboards can uh, use a different layout like for chords or for scales. And this makes it really easy and fun to use. To set it up, you have to go to the MIDI screen in Audiobus and insert the app at least one time as a sender app. Then, select your sound apps as destinations of the pipelines. I'm going to use iGrand Piano and AnyMove now. In the keyboard app, you can see that each of the keyboards has an individual chord selector or a sound selector. It lets you switch between all the apps that you have connected to a MIDI flow keyboard in the audio bus routing before. You see that the keyboard color changes to reflect the selected sound. I can also select both apps if I want to have them layered. However, I want them separate now. The app has different keyboard layouts to play with. A layout you might already be familiar with is the Scales keyboard. You can select from a list of scales and then it will switch from the regular piano layout to those simpler keys that make it really easy to play something in that scale. Another option is the chord keyboard. It's a new layout that allows you to play like a piano player. The idea is that when you play an accompaniment on the piano, you use the left hand for the root notes and the right hand for the chords. This keyboard layout allows you to do that, but with just one hand, actually with two fingers. The index finger plays the root note and the middle finger the chords. When you play with this layout, you have to specify in which key you are playing. Then it will show you not all the possible chords, but those that make most sense in this key. As I only need one hand for the chords, I can use the other one for playing the other synth. There are some more options. If I activate the hold mode, the keys will keep sounding until I tap the same key again. And in the unisono mode, the previous keys will automatically be stopped when the next key is pressed. This is very useful with the chord keyboard. Besides that, you can transpose the keyboard in halftone steps, and you can activate or deactivate the pitch bend and modulation controls. You can also use the keyboard in slide over and split screen if you want to make adjustments in another app in parallel. So much for that. Now, if you are as excited as I am about the new AudioS 3 and MIDI, don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow MidiFlow on twitter.com slash MidiFlow or facebook.com slash MidiFlow app. There's even more stuff coming. See you next time.